Today, um, you know, with it being Christmas and stuff like that, we've, we, we've come to a beautiful school, you know, we're going to be doing a Christmas meal for the kids, and uh, I've, I've literally brought in, you know, the SAS of the dinner lady world. Uh, it's been a really tough year, and, um, you know, it's, it's the last day of school, you know, it's the big Christmas meal of school, yeah, you're on the floor serving, um, Sheila and Selena, we'll just pump it out from here. And I'll be floating backwards and forwards, and let's just try and keep the kids happy. All right, lovely, Wes. Yes. Big yes. smiles. Yes. Uh, yes. Be careful out there, girls. Nice. Well done. Basically, sorting out the starter today. I'm doing an open sandwich. Uh, Gwenda, do you want me just to show you this starter? Okay. You're doing an open sandwich. Put some bread. Fill okay. that bread. Oh, that's lovely. Fantastic. Oh, what I want to do is sort of um, butter the bread mm -hmm. from corner to corner. Yes. Try and be, you know, generous because that's like a little waterproof layer. And then what we're going to do is just make a kind of, I suppose it's a version of a cheese sandwich, mm. onto the bread. Oh, that's and lovely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Christmas. I think what I learned this year is that it takes many people and no one's insignificant. Massive respect to the parents this year. They've been brilliant and, and kind of making change. It's almost like it's a kind of a collective snowball effect, you know, one hits another and then together you get stronger and stronger and that's the way that you make change and it's amazing how you know how you can do that you should have seen these kids six months ago before we radically changed what they were eating I mean before they were like boring so one of the things we always tend to forget is a dessert and my advice on that is get it in get it in early get it done chuck us one of those rolls I'll show you how I'm a frozen dessert look at that nice packaging crisscross design Lovely bit of sponge. I think that's cream inside. Give it about 30 seconds. A little bit of cooking. The one thing I've noticed is the kids' behaviour. No, not a week, not a month. I'm fed up with all these slow, tickly, tickly, woo woo, you know, a month later. Give the kids the food, see the change within. Four minutes. Since we've been following his guidelines, his food programs, I mean our lives have just completely changed. I've got five children. My youngest three, I've named after him, Jamie, uh, Jamelia and Jamaica. Little Jamie will be, you know, either catatonic or on the little um, handmade uh, child size hamster wheel, which he loves. Jamelia and Jamaica will be in front of the Game Boys eating deep fried pizza. Taekwondo and Ruff will be, you know, probably at the bus stop. Sucking beer for a straw. <laughs> Nora, Nora, no. Change the food and see the kids play British Bulldog. Fantastic. How many times have I told you I'm not using this rubbish? Yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's been a slight in increase in sort of injuries at school, um, tripping up and head wounds, really. I mean, it's nothing, nothing major, nothing fatal. Energetic and, 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 and full of thousands of ideas that they can't even get a handle on. Pent up energy and frustration coming out. And it's brilliant, you know, that, that's what Great Britain should be about. Lindsay? Hi! Oh. Hi, Jamie! How are you? You're right? <laughs> yeah, fine, thanks. How fine. are you? Fine, we're great, we're all great. Oh. Congratulations! On what? Um, I'm just going to get some cheese slices. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, hey Jamie, you know, um, what turkey will you be cooking this year? You know, bronze, free range, organic, and it's like, love, you know, what's the matter with you? Next time you'll be wanting to put your turkey up in a hotel and saying, you know, Mr. Turkey, gobbly gobbly, do you want to die for Christmas? For me, there's only one option. And, you know, that is try and get your turkey from as far away as possible. It's pre-portioned, you know, pre-seasoned, pre-shaped. You can cook it from frozen. You know, we're all too busy to be mucking around Making real food is pathetic.
Oh, thank you. So what's my real Christmas message then? Well, it's pretty simple really. And don't worry, I'm not going to start yabbering and getting all emotional and preachy to you. But if I could have one wish for 2006, it would be to make sure that we really look after the beautiful kids of this country and truly make the nation a healthier, cleverer, happier place. And I reckon we can do it. Happy Christmas, guys. Have a fantastic day and a brilliant new year. And by the way, go easy on those twangers. Where the treetops glisten 